Richard and everybody. Yeah. I'm Nick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Thank Julie. You. Pleasure to find you. Nick, if you want to tell us a little bit about this snowmobile, this is uh, Claudia. Claudia became a good friend of mine after spending many hours on a trail alone. She, uh, not as a dear friend, but almost some other figure, she helped me through a lot of dark days. So we spent a lot of time together. She'd been pull into the shop, give me pep talks, keep me going. This sled was named after Claudia after we had uh, retired Mary Jane at uh, 99,956 miles and uh, Claudia had passed away and I asked Pat if I could name it after her. The rest is pretty well history. It's got 32,649 miles. Yeah. And it was on the anniversary of her death. Of yeah. her death. So her yeah. anniversary. That uh, is one that her grandson number. and I drove the sled to the shop. So I have a check here for $83,000 for the Ride with Claudia Fund, and I'm going to give it uh, to Chad <laughs> so that they can uh, present it to the foundation on uh, for their mother. That's awesome. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Thank you much. I'll give that to you, Kevin. Appreciate that. What wasn't mentioned is that there's been almost $28,000 to date since our partnership began that has been put into this community to support patients with cancer treatment needs to support them. So in addition to the $83,000, there's another you know, nearly $28,000 that's already been supported. Like we talked about over the kitchen table, you know, we'll do a small, small family project, break a record. We just wanted to do something in memory of your mother, yep. our my grandmother, and we we just thought this was going to be a one and done thing. We wanted to do it to give back to the community, and that was the big discussion. Why don't we form our own foundation, and we can decide where the money goes, and we can, and we decided on transportation, gas cards. We thought this was an area that showed a need, and so we were just uh, filling a need at the time. Julie had reached out to us about 11 years ago, uh, going on 12 and just asked if we would be interested in partnering with their foundation. This was actually when I was at the hospital and um, we had talked with them about it and I talked with our, um, at that time, the hospital's oncology department and we were looking at how we could structure it for to support patients that are in financial need. And Nick and Julie wanted to reach out to, you know, an entity within our region. Uh, you know, they're, they're a family that's not from this area. They have, you know, familiarity with it because of snowmobiling and that connection. More recently, she talked to us about wanting to fully endow the fund and to make sure that was put in play. And as you know, today they, they provided us with $83,000 to seed that fund and we will certainly get it started and, and hopefully other people will see the need for this and want to participate and help grow that fund in Claudia's honor. You know, I, I'm fortunate enough, my role is just being lucky enough to know all of them. Obviously, uh, my mom and Nick were the, the close ones and everything, they befriended each other. Um, and they were there for each other a lot. Uh, my whole role is just, you know, being being associated with those two good people and being able to help in any way. You know, if Nick had issues, we were up in the Q and A to uh, help pick him up and do whatever we could to keep his mission going. He's always here. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people use his tracker, see where he's at. Uh, a lot of people, you know, like to meet him, and he's always got time for people. So he's just a good guy. Like I said today, I told Pat. He said, if I pick him up another sled and name it after Claudia, he said I'd be honored. You know, and I think it's also interesting how, you know, relationships and friendships, you know, with Nick and Claudia in this case, how that transcends just those friendships and all of a sudden is a spark for something better for the community. Um, and and their, their friendship and that relationship is going to touch the lives of so many other families that, you know, it's just really interesting to see how that, that comes about when people that have good intentions and good hearts just want to do good for the community. You know, again, it's how do we make that possible? It takes a community to do that. Mm -hmm.